What up, Puck Squad? Coming at you with a super unique video. I'm sure anyone who's in the disc golf community has probably heard of the game Disc Golf Valley. I think Latitude 64 makes it. Uh, this video is not sponsored at all by them, but it's just been a really fun game to play while none of us have been able to really play disc golf. Um, in, my, in my disc golf team group, the Borderland Bombers, we love this game. We've been playing it so much. A couple of us friends, Mark, Jake, and Ted, are, and myself, are gonna try to put together some sort of a nine hole Disc Golf Valley challenge video where I'm having them film their face cams and their screen record of their phone. And I'm gonna try to splice everything together so that it feels like we're all playing live. Uh, and it's gonna have everyone's reactions and stuff. But while each of us are playing, we're obviously not gonna know, other than the other person's score, how they're reacting. So when I get all the clips from Jake, Ted, and Mark, it'll be cool to look at them and, and laugh at and see how they responded to certain things but it should be a lot of fun and I have uh, Ted, Jake and Mark here on camera now. What's up Puck Squad? Getting ready for some Disc Golf Alley here. Got the quarantine mustache going. Highly suggest everyone gets a quarantine mustache. Good start. Well, Birdie. Ooh, I was set to forehand. That would have sucked. All right, so when you pop open the app, all you have to do is sign in. I think you have to link it to like a Google account or a Facebook account or something like that, but I've already signed in, so I don't remember exactly how you sign in now, but I'm pretty sure it's with a Google account. Um, and this is just the home screen, so you can challenge the valley, and this is kind of where all the courses are that you can earn different discs are from at the beginning, and depending on how many strokes you have is how many stars you get on that specific course. So you can see I got a good amount of two stars, a couple one stars, and even one three star. But it is pretty difficult to get three stars on these courses because you really have to shoot, I think you have to shoot all birdies except for one hole, um, and so that can get pretty tough. But this is just kind of how it looks. You have Challenge the Valley, you have tournaments where you can do three different uh, divisions, you have Recreational, Intermediate, and Advanced, and then you can see there on the left that all this, the, um, the scorecards and kind of the leaderboards of all these are kind of here. So depending on what division you're in, you can see all the leaderboards and see how other people are shooting. Uh, if I move down into my disc bag down here in the bottom right, here are the discs that I'm working with right now. In the top left are the discs that I'm currently using in my bag. You can only use six at a time, but on the bottom are all the discs that I could change out if I wanted to. Um, so I've been playing for maybe a week or two and I've amassed a couple discs, but here are the putters I have. I have different mid-range options, I have different fairway options, and then as of right now, the only distance driver that I have is in my bag up in the top left, and that's the musket. Uh, it's pretty hard to get distance drivers, and so that musket really is a big, big game changer to get yourself those further shots. Um, moving back a little bit more, moving over to Pro Tour. This is kind of like a little bit more of a serious um, round where you can only play it once and if you back out, like your score saves no matter what. Um, and if you play all four of these rounds, you can see up top, it kind of puts you in like a leaderboard for this too. It's a little bit more serious than the last one, which is tournaments. Under the tournaments tab, no matter which one you click, you can always restart and try to shoot a better round. But under the Pro Tour tab, a new round will open up every day. As you can see on the bottom, uh, round three is locked. I haven't played the first two rounds, but if I did, I wouldn't physically be able to play the next one until the next day. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, they have a little practice for putting and target practicing. They have multiplayer, uh, which this is kind of like just playing online with random people. And then they also have play with friends, which is what I do a lot. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna hit new group. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna see in the top right, X, E, C, J. That's the only code you need. Whatever friends you have or whatever people you wanna play with, you just put that up. You wanna put it on your Facebook or Instagram, whatever you wanna get people to play with. Put that little code in and anyone who has the game can go back to where it says leave group and they'll hit join group and then they'll, they'll put in that little code and everyone's gonna pop into the same one. As I'm waiting for everyone to join the group, uh, there's one thing I wanna to talk to you guys about real quick and that is Tom Brady leaving the Patriots. I have been a Patriots fan my whole life. I was born and raised in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Well, I wasn't born in Foxborough, but I was raised in Foxborough. I've played sports games at Gillette Stadium. I'm 25 years old, so Tommy's been the quarterback for the best, the better half of the last 20 years. And it's just crazy to see him go. I'm gonna support him the whole time. And you know, I love everything that he did for us and everything like that, but just to see him go to Tampa is just so wild. Um, just drop a comment with how you feel about the whole Tom Brady to Tampa situation. Even if you hate the Patriots, even if you don't like Tom, even if whatever, you don't like the Bucks, um, just drop a comment with a Tom Brady related uh, comment and it'd be pretty cool to just go back and forth with you guys on that a little bit. Uh, we are in the group ELLF, so I just sent that over to the guys and we have a plan to start the round in two minutes. So let's hope that they get into this round pretty quickly. Oh, and there's Mark with his German with his German symbol. Oh, there's Prawley, which is Ted, and he has like a 
like a medic symbol, and there's Jake with his American flag. All right, so we are all here. I think we're gonna be teeing off in like 30 seconds-ish. And yeah, this should be good. This should be really fun. All right, Jake, Mark, and Ted, good luck to you guys. I am starting the round right now. All right, so this is the first hole. And so just to give you guys a little bit of an understanding how this works, on the top left is the map that you can see the hole on and the outside uh, yellow line is the out of bounds. Uh, on the, right below that, you can choose what you wanna throw, forehand, backhand, or if you wanna putt it. Uh, this is gonna be a forehand shot. If I wanna choose what disc I wanna select, I can hit disc bag or I can also, oop, or I can also quick select by swiping on this middle thing right here, depending on what disc I also want. So here I'm gonna be throwing my compass mid-range, and then in the bottom right you can choose the angle, and you can also choose where on the tee that you line up. And so I'm gonna be in the middle, I'm gonna kind of line up here, and you pull back, and depending on the angle is how it shoots. And so this is gonna be on hyzer, and it might check up, it might stop, and that's okay. That leaves me with a decent putt. All right, hole one. Hole one, we got a shorty. Um, we're gonna go compass. Compass on straight shot. Ooh, ooh, I was set to forehand. That would have sucked. And it should be parked. Yeah, it's parked. Easy little forehand. the ace run hole right here that's not an ace run easy bird to putt there's a couple different ways you can use the putt thing right here it's a little bit tricky if you're outside like six meters uh, so what I've learned to do and what a bunch of us have done is we learned how to actually throw it into the basket from outside six so we're gonna go backhand instead of putt we're gonna drop it a little bit and we're just gonna pull back an ante, maybe like a tiny bit, and there's a bird. There's a good bird to start. I was kind of worried about missing that putt. <laughs> I like to get up and just putt really quick. Good start, old birdie. So on this one, it is a 61 meter shot, so I'm gonna go with the compass again, and I'm gonna go on a backhand hyzer. Oh, that looks like it's a little left. Oh. No, it actually checked out money. So look at that. Park that one. Tap it in. Didn't even need to putt. Yo, shout out to my guy, Tom Brady, by the way. It's my guy right there. He can go to Tampa if he wants. Another ace run. Not an ace. All right, you got to give this one an ace run. Right at it. Oof. We're gonna go back to the compass, put some height on it, give a little ace run. All right, didn't ace, but it's a tap in. Simple, simple tap in. All right, two down through two. Noah hasn't even started yet. Nice, Noah. Nice. Way to tell us to start at 6:20 and then still not have a hole played. At 623. Nice. 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 Nice, Noah. Gotta lift it up a little to the right. Easy bucket. Wow, the boys are coming out hot right now. All twos on the board. Oh, look at this. Everyone's starting good. Everyone wants it. Oh, this hole's kind of tough. I haven't really figured out how to put this one there. I'm gonna go Explorer, and I'm gonna go here, pull back. That looks good. Oh, that looks great. Sit. Yeah, look at that. That's probably the closest shot I've ever had on this hole. All right, three for three to start. I'm, uh, this is awesome. This is an easy layout so far. This game's hard sometimes. Don't let it fool you. Oh, I thought I was going to get my first ace. 
only thing you can do wrong is leave it short on this hole. So we're just going to go like this. Power up. Hi Kelly. Oh, hello. <laughs> Gonna smash you this one. A little explorer on a backhand. Just gotta get above the ridge and... Stop. All right. We got a tester, babe. Water. Good start. Nine meters ain't nothing. Step up, smash it. Three down through three. Who's next? Let's go. <laughs> wow. A lot of birdies on this card. Wow. Boy's still going strong. Here's a tough hole, though. Looks pretty good. That's money, let's go. All right, we're gonna go to the musket with a little right to left on a big ante. Not a big ante, but a flat shot. I lost where the basket is. Nice, there it is. Give me a little skip. Oh, I smashed a tree. <laughs> when you start carrying down the hill, it just goes. So I think we want to aim out here because it's going to push us out and then just hopefully stall by the basket. Maybe get a look. Kind of hard to say. See how it just kind of glides down there? Now if it sits. Mm. It's a tricky putt. Nobody's even got a par on the card yet. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this one is really far. I'm gonna go backhand. I'm gonna make sure that my nose is down and I'm just gonna go straight. And so that's gonna carry for me a pretty long ways to the left. Wow, this is actually getting a lot of glide. Wow, this is, oh my, oh! <laughs> I can't believe that I just hit the pin on that hole. I can't even see the basket. I'm gonna go forehand. All right, that's a huge shot. To save par. Oh my God, tester! Probably should lay this up, but we don't lay up. In just to the right, the wind's gonna push it back, but it's downhill, so we can't give it too much. Leave a little Annie. Okay, it's soft. Easy three, tap it in. <clears throat> 18 meters, downhill. We're gonna putt this. Come on. Ah, uh, missed left. All right, that's a bogey, folks. That's gonna be tough to swallow. Nice. Oh, I'm such a stiff. Wow, I pulled it off to the right. Oh my, I can't believe I just did that. Just like real life, still can't putt. Okay, so I'm at six meters. I'm gonna go with a throw here instead of a putt. Sorry for that car that you can hear outside, but I'm gonna go with a throw here, and I'm gonna go just real soft. Yeah, nice. Dude, if I aced that, that would have been crazy. I still haven't even gotten an ace yet, and that's like one of the longest holes. Oh, Ted was the first one to get a par. Oh my god, this is so funny. <clears throat> Alright, this one should just be a forehand right at the middle. But, you gotta be careful because there's some wind going on here. So I'm gonna throw it kind of like just to the left. Like, uh, like there. See how I pushed it out like that? Just skip up. Oh, this one can be tricky too. So this one has like a cliff on the left and the right and there's a lot of out of bounds on this one. 
So I'm just gonna try to like pump this one straight. Oh, that looks good. Nice, okay. Now sit. Nice, wow, I couldn't have drawn up a better round for you guys for this. I love this hole. Just a little forehand. Explorer. This is a huge shot. Nice. Nice. Babe. <laughs> yeah, I love this hole. Nice, out of bounds. All right, we're throwing this in. Ready? Mwah. Nope. Let's go. I'm gonna aim more right than you think on a putt like this. Drop it in. All right. Nice. Next hole. Next hole. Typical mark. <laughs> Blows up. Wow. One ah. down. That was minus five. Of course he is. Mark is still on hole four. I'm predicting a big number there. Oh, this hole is really hard. So what you can do is you can actually take a cheater gap. You can move your disc to the right and go to flick and kind of hit the lick really perfectly so that you get all the way over there to the basket. But I'm shooting pretty good right now, and I'm just gonna go straight, and I'm gonna go hyzer, and you can see the wind there on the top right. So that's a three mile an hour wind from left to right, and so that's gonna push my disc a little bit more to the right as well. And so I just wanna punch this one straight, and you can see, oh, I accidentally flicked it. Oh my God. I hope you guys laugh at me so hard because I changed it to flick to give you guys an example of how you can take the cheater's route, and then I friggin' flick it on accident. Oh my god, that was brutal. The wind, oh wow, the wind is so strong in this game. I just went OB, usually you go right to a drop zone on this and you can still get a, a birdie look. Wow, I'm back at the tee. That is not good. Wow, and Joma has just started cranking. Wow, look at the recovery sit. So this one is eagleable if you go out here to the left, but it's not really worth it. Although there is kind of a good wind for it, so maybe I go for it. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna give it some Annie out over the water and hope that it kind of just comes back with this wind maybe skips over gives us a look oh my god that was beautiful only one with the bogey and i have two of them nice I just have to crush the rest of it all right i have to go for the shot what's the oh, wind doing this one. hopefully i can snag a three easy easy she says that's terrible. I can't believe I just did that. All right, so I'm gonna flick this out. Yeah, there was really no way that I could probably get to that basket from where I was there. And even this, that basket's like right on the edge. So if I go anything, if I go any further than I should here, this thing is gonna go gone. So I need to really baby this. Okay. All right, I can't go into the water. Mustn't. Mustn't go into the water. Perfect. Perfect. You did that. Now, we really don't want to airball this because then we just go straight OB. Oh my god. Oh, and it's wicked far away. Oh. I gotta throw it in. Gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful here. We want it to be just right of center. Not too high. Just like that. And we're just gonna lay it up. That is just the worst. Let's see if I can put this home for par, even after a crappy tee shot. Okay. I was so worried that I was gonna blow that one and really screw it up. 
That's right, death putt, nothing. Let's go, back yeah. on track. That's a big par save. Noah has not finished this hole yet, which means he's probably struggling. Teddy took a four. Jake is about four holes behind. Nice, Jake. Nice. 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 All right, three holes left. We're gonna birdie out. We're gonna go backhand straight shot right at it. Perfect. So this one's kind of tricky. You want it to go, let's see, over here. I'm gonna give myself an angle. All right, this one I'm gonna go musket on a big hyzer around this tree, have it fade in so that I can have a look through that gap, and that's pretty much perfect if it sits. Yeah, cool. So I leave myself a perfect ability to get through that gap. I'm gonna use this slider to move myself a little to the left, and I'm still gonna go compass about 55 meters. I'm gonna go low into the right, and I'm gonna go pretty much full power on a little hyzer, and hopefully it checks up nice. Sit, 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 sit. Okay, that's good. And try to go over the top here. Alright, I'll take it. Hopefully this is enough disc to get us there. Uh, ooh, it's stuck. Too long. I'm probably, by the way, in case you haven't caught on by now, 20 feet out, 21 meters, I'd run it. Let's go. No layups. Always running on the huck squad. You gotta aim pretty high for these. And just whiff. Oh <sighs> boy. I actually did not think it went this far. This is not good. Oh, that's a huge putt. Huge putt. Can't watch. Let's go! Fuck it up, babe. <laughs> Let's go! This basket's hard to putt on, too, because it's elevated. And so, sometimes you can hit that front rim and it sucks. Alright. Oh. oh, I thought that one spit out, but it stuck. Wow, I'm putting together a great round right now, and I freaking screwed that hole up by throwing the wrong shot. Leave it to Noah to make this vlog and then just school us all. Scrub. Started left with three easy holes, and now uh, this hard? Uh, nice. I don't think I've ever seen this hole. This hole sucks. Alright, here we go. That's gotta get moving left a little bit. I think that's perfect. This is a tough bar five. Oh, and I just made it tougher. Is that OB? It's not OB. All right, this isn't looking too good for us. We're gonna go big and hit a tree. All right, this one I've found that you actually need to hyzer it more than you think. So I'm gonna hyzer that one a lot. Oh no, don't. Uh, oh, that's kind of in a crappy spot. Oh man, I'm making this all interesting. What do you even do? What do you even do for me? Yeah. That's all I got. Up and over. That sets us up for like a big sky Annie. I hope. This is going to be a really hard shot. I'll oh, get through. 
Mm -hmm. on the other side. All right, we're inbounds, and we have nothing. We're gonna go musket forehand and just punch through. All right, that could have been worse. This one's a par five, so getting that four is great. Um, but um, this is gonna be tough because I'm so close to that out of bounds. I don't wanna like really sling it over there. So I might have to just go aggressive forehand hyzer. Oh, look at that. That worked out so perfect. Oh my God, that was awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better shot there. Try and punch it through here. We're out. Spike. Spike Kaiser. Right up and over. Beautiful. Seventy-one meters. I'm gonna go explore on a forehand, like this and like this. Glide it, glide it, glide it. Nice hit. Nah. <laughs> Let's go. Big forehand. Huh? I don't even know where the basket is anymore. So. Go. If you're outside of 15 meters, you just gotta throw it in. No other way. Nice. 16 meters from my f***ing par. Let's go. Cash, cake, nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, no one came to play. Six down, I'm at five down. Jake's four down with a lot, um, couple more holes left. Like one of my better rounds. I have one par and a bunch of birdies, and this is the last hole. Come on, bring her home, baby. Bring her home. Oh, miss that. Miss it. Miss it. Okay, good. Slide. Slide. All right, I got to look to go eight down here. I think it's a compass on this hole. No, actually, it's an explorer. Parked. Tap it in. GG. Oh, I need a birdie. Alright, this is easy. Right there. <sighs> Did not know that tree was there. It's fine. Ace or die right now. What do you think, babe? Go off. That's definitely not gonna ace. That's not even gonna fucking birdie. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. Come on. <sighs> After that missed eagle, it was just downhill. Went five. I went bogey par par birdie. Could have been eagle birdie birdie. That was trash. What are you gonna do? 10 meters, cake. Sunny. <sighs> Come on, put this in. Don't overthink it. Eight down, baby. I doubt you guys beat that. Let's see. Oh, ho, ho, let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm six down. Noah's seven down. Wow, he really came to play. Three pars. Three pars isn't good enough. You got to birdie them all. He's not going to bogey that last hole. It's too easy. Teddy commentary though. No one's gonna die when he watches this later. You're gone. <laughs> Damn. Way to take our lunch money, Noah. <laughs> oh my God, that's so awesome. And so now I'm gonna finish round. And so when you hit finish round, all the scores will still continue to update as people are finishing their holes. And so I moved a little bit quick. It looks like Ted and I moved pretty quick, but let's let Mark and Jake finish up and I will pop back in at the end.
But it's just, it's been a really fun game to play with friends. Uh, just throw the code into your group chat that you have with whoever your disc golf friends are. And it's just been a really fun game to play. Um, it's competitive and it's fun to talk crap to each other back and forth. And there's a lot of green on this screen, so there's been a lot of birdies. But when you first start out, it's actually pretty tough. And if you don't know how to like throw the disc into the basket, when I learned how to change from putting to throwing from everything like six meters and out, um, I got really much better at the game. I tried putting everything from six meters, like from probably 12 meters and in. I would try to use the putt and it really just is lofty and it doesn't go as far as you want. But if you learn how to control that throw from anywhere from like six to whatever, however many meters, you just need to keep the nose down and keep it on a little bit of ante and it just goes freaking dead straight. So if you practice that and learn how to do that, then it definitely helps with your putting and helps getting a lot of these birdies because you can actually throw the disc in from outside of six meters. When you're putting with the putt selected, it's just really hard to get accuracy on that putt. Um, so if you end up playing the game, definitely check that out. Um, but there it is. Uh, I ended up taking it down with a minus eight and I won by two strokes. These dudes didn't even have a chance. This was really fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did make sure to drop a like and drop a comment with what your favorite part was download the game play it with a bunch of your friends and it's just going to be something to be like disc golf related and sort of pass the time this could be something that we end up doing a lot more of during this whole quarantine era that we're in right now so if you guys ended up enjoying it and make sure to leave a like uh, that will let me know that you enjoyed it and if you did then i'm sure that we'll do many more of these in the future because Honestly, we can't even play disc golf right now. Uh, all the courses in my area have closed. A couple of the courses have taken out the baskets from the sleeves as well. And things have just gotten really serious. So honestly, you shouldn't even be out there playing regardless. Um, so this is just a good thing to do in the meantime. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop that like, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought. And yeah, hope you enjoyed.